Hi viewers, welcome back to this session of Smart. So we are going to speak about histogram. And histogram is a data visualization. We can analyze the data for better uh, for making better financial or any decision making. So these are different sort of histogram charts. So in Excel we have uh, a chart in histogram in insert. So first of all, this is the data and here you can see that this is the age of the customer. So in this customer's age at a restaurant, so I'm going to see this. So I'm going to tell you that how to check what age group are, are visiting the restaurants and what is the age limit. So in NetApp you can see, NetApp will give you bin. So this is the frequency and create bin in NetApp. But that is not possible in this Microsoft Excel. So there is some limitation. First, we can see how the count the data of number of frequencies. So it can be like count open the parenthesis and uh, control shift down arrow. And 23 frequencies are there. So once I select this control shift down and go to insert, and we have something called histogram. So we have a chart and I have a uh, chart in this way. So this data, if you see, doesn't make any sense and you cannot, for the single variable, doesn't give any understanding. Let's say has created an option for histogram in data analysis. If you go to data and you can see data analysis. If you don't have, you can go to file options and you can watch the previous video how to get the data analysis. So in data analysis, you can see histogram. So you can do is OK. So this has selected the cell automatically, or if you don't have, you can select it, control shift down key. Just put the cursor over here. And control shift down. So Always select it manually. The bit of freezing is here. And then you can see it has a label. So output can you want to put a new workbook so you can put in the same sheet. So I'll be using a new worksheet so you can have a better view of the sheet. And then I'm going to do some other charts also for a better visualization. And I'm going to do it OK. So this data I'm going to compare with the other one. So this is my data I'm using the sheet. So this sheet, I'm going to increase this. So you can see that this sheet is comparatively better than this sheet in Excel. So you can see the frequency 17 is having around nine times. The age group 47 is around six times, around six times. So this is one sheet, you can just select this. Um, you can hold this one. But this, uh, if you select this, you can see this is the main sheet which is carrying the data. So this is not the, the one we are looking for. So if you can just try to remove this one. And you can just delete this here. And now you can see the sheet. So it doesn't make any differences. So you can see this 17 is having nine times. So 17 is having nine times. And here you can do uh, you can do the changes if you want required. So if you want to select this data and you want to see uh, by highest to lowest. So you can see how this thing is. So you can see the variables is like two times uh, and uh, it's a one, the age group of 17 times visited. So this is mostly the age group of children they are visited one. So somebody would have brought them the child, two years old child to have come to the restaurant. It's 17, nine times, 32, four times, 47, have six times, and more than 47 we have. Three times. 
So if you want, you can see as for the frequency and just click here. You can see as for the frequency we can do in this way. So this gives a better view and you can see the number of outputs, you know, if you have the frequency. I'm going to press to Alt and equal to, so it is 23. It is the same thing compared to what we have done. So I think in single variables, this will help you more compared to this in the Microsoft Excel. So this is the, this is the one other way. Now I want to use something bigger data instead of them for the smaller one, because of the small one. Now if you have something which is bigger, you know, you can see service at a fast pay restaurant. So customer one was served within nine minutes and some seconds, seven seconds, so milliseconds. So this is a data of more than 500. So I'm just going to remove this, this as I just calculated. So you can see it is nearly 500, so I cannot go keep on scrolling down and boring you. So it is more than 500, you can go to 502. So if you remove these two, it will be 500. So I'm going to count again, you can count. Open the parenthesis, and here is the service term and control shift down, and put enter. So this is 500, total 500 frequency of data points, those number of points called N. So now I want to check that what is the average. So some people are five minutes, some are 10 minutes. Now if you want to count, do as per small or large, or you can do this here. So if you just if you want to just select from here. The better we can do is from sort and my data has a header. And from customer or service time, I can just monitor the largest. So you can see the smallest the number of pounds. And we can see also from largest to the smallest. But doesn't this doesn't give a perfect understanding? So I'll go to do this, I'm going to have a data visualization and I'm going to do this is a so little bit messy. Uh, this chart is fine, but still, if I go ahead, I put some data variables here and I'm going to increase this. So, this is giving me some sort of understanding that two people are 4.3 and 5.23. But at the end, this also doesn't give me the correct visualizations which I am waiting for. So let's do this in a histogram data analysis pack go to data. And we have data analysis and histogram select an OK. And already within certain selected. So let's so this is not my data variable. So my data variable will be this column. So I'm selecting from here and control shift and down. And my labels I have selected the labels. So the labels are this one. And I also want to do this. Select all these three and I want to set it in a new sheet. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this do OK in the new worksheet. So I have got the data over here. So let's go and scrutinize the data. So I'm going to go and first of all, columns and let's make this into bold. And I'm going to So you can see there is, when you select the data, you can see this is the main data which is been So again, this is in the, this, this has been done as per the, uh, the increase and decrease. So you can see how the things are gradually increase and decrease. But I, this is not required for me, so I'm going to delete it. And now let's magnify this. So this is also very difficult to read here, but the minutes, so I'm going to reduce the minutes.
Then the number one to two. So now it has a better look. So you can see that 10.5. And I'm going to see the highest in the bin. So again, I'm going to data and I'm going to sort. And let's find the selection. My data is labeled. So as per the win, I want to see the smallest to the largest as per the win. So you can see the smallest is one time here. And here, if you see the Here you can't make out anything, but this sheet in the right, you can see how the data can be split away. So this is the, you can see here, it is very low. Now I'm going to go to the highest. I'm going to change the largest to smallest. So you can see. Now, if you want to see as per the frequency, you can do that also. I'm going to select this or I'm going to select control shift down. I'm going to do as per the frequency. I can see 10.5 is the highest frequency, but the most of the time, the restaurant, 55 people were served within. 10.5%. This is just 11% of the total. So 9.3 is the second lowest. And I can do the vice versa also. I can change it into most of the best also. You can see this way. You can have a better visualization in histogram compared to the histogram which we use in the insert tab. So I think this video is useful in just understanding the histogram and the frequencies automatically it will give you, but it will not create bins like it is done in Minitab. So this is the purpose of making this video to make a better understanding of how histogram works and how we can take data and decision making. I hope you find this video useful. Please uh, check this video. If you have any comments, please do write to me. And, uh, I would like to see you in the next video soon. Thanks for watching.